What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to replace a surface mounted part on a circuit board. These parts are so tiny, it's really hard to remove and put the new parts back on. I'm gonna be using the soldering kit. It has two syringes in it, one with flux paste, which is a cleaning agent, and it helps bond the solder back onto the, the parts back onto the circuit board. And it has solder paste, this is a leaded solder paste, works so much better than unleaded solder paste. It has tweezers, uh, alcohol pads, uh, regular solder, solder wire, and the soldering wire to clean the solder off the circuit board. And I'm going to be using this digital microscope. It goes up to 600 zoom, has a six hour battery life, records in high definition, 1080p resolution onto a micro SD card, and it has a built in stand. And on the stand, it has a suction cup, so you can mount it to any flat surface. It also has a built-in LED light, so you can see what you're working on. Awesome stuff. So this is $60, this is $15 on shopjimmy.com. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my hot air tool made by Isotip. And let's turn it on. Now, I'm going to be using a little bit of flux. And this helps clean the surface, but it also helps with the heating process. All right. And I'm going to be using the tweezers. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, this also has a dial, so it adjusts the focus. And hit OK to start recording, or you can use the motion recording feature. All right. And it also takes um, 3.6 megapixel pictures onto the SD card, but make sure you get the SD card before buying this digital microscope. Let's heat it up. And then uh, when you remove the part, make sure you know where that line is. That is the negative on that diode. Because if you put the new part in and you put it in backwards, it's gonna short out or burn out. So the, the key is to have it, um, the heat tool on medium and then just raise it maybe like an inch or inch and a half off the board and let the solder pad liquefy. And do not pull the part off the board. It should just slide right off. There we go, that's it. It's pretty easy stuff. All right, so next what you wanna do is clean the solder from the board. And I'm gonna be using my other soldering iron right here. Heats up in about 10 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and clean the solder. And you can see it absorb. So see how that absorbed right onto the desoldering wire? Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. All right, so next, what you want to do is you want to clean the surface. And we're going to be using the alcohol pad right here. Let's go ahead and do that. That looks good. Now you can use flux but some solder paste has flux built in, or rosin. Uh, this is leaded solder paste. I don't think I'm really gonna need the flux. Let's just go ahead and put the paste on. And when you use the paste, use just a little bit, just a dab. And that goes a long way. It doesn't look like much, but trust me, that's plenty. Now with the tweezers, let's go ahead and just place it right there. You can just drop it into place. It doesn't have to be perfect because you notice that once you heat it up, it's going to adjust right there. See? It's like magic. And then once you have it in place, you can tap on it. 
make sure it's in there good. Look at that. How cool is that? And yes, we have the negative side of the diode facing the, the right direction. So if you guys are inter interested in this product or products, check out the link in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on the subscribe button right here. And if you want to check out my other how-to videos, click on the playlist right here. And share this video to anyone that's interested in this digital microscope for watch repair, electronic repair, or even dissecting insects. And thanks for watching, guys. Later.